My name is Angela Frost and I work with the Marook Project here in Swan Hill. The Marook Project started in 2009 when an elder, a local elder here named Bruce Baxter had an idea to create a puppet show as a way of handing on cultural stories to the Aboriginal community. We made a puppet show called Pondi about the creation of the Murray River and we created dances and puppets and performed that show here on the Murray River to about 300 people. Each year we've created a new play from elders passing on stories to young people and their families. Young people coming up with traditional stories themselves to share. I got told this story when I was nine years old. I remembered it because it has a good message. It's about a kookaburra. I remembered a few dream time stories that I got told when I was younger and I told Angela about them. It starts in the dream time. She liked it, so a few more questions got shared around and then after that I got a phone call from Angela saying how much she loved my story and everything and I was on a high. <laughs> it was so amazing to know that she had picked my story. We use Dreamtime stories as a way of remembering what was here before and thinking about what those stories mean to us in a modern context and what are those themes and messages in those Dreamtime stories that were told on this country so long ago and for so long that have a message for us today. I've never been the one to stand out to be the popular kid and how the kookaburra in his story, his role is to be the one to tell everybody that you are you and you can be wonderful in your own way but trying to be some, like somebody else isn't going to make you happy. Being yourself is being happy. One of the uh, really powerful things that comes from Letitia's story of the Kookaburra is that the story actually turns out to be about the importance of accepting yourself for who you are, including all of your diversity. And there's a wonderful moment in the narration where I think she says something like the fact that balance is only possible when there is diversity. And of course, that, that's what's being exemplified here in the Marook Project. It's, uh, it's being lived out, uh, that, that message crafted and expressed so well by this young woman. I'm Jeremiah. I am a performer, dancer with the Moral Project. My experience is to learn and to teach what our culture is and how it's supposed to touch your life and express it through art. So while the Aboriginal community have led the project, other community members from African countries, Indian, uh, Asian countries have come to join the Aboriginal community in celebrating the land that we all live on and understanding those connections to country. Every story tells a little bit more of who we are and who our ancestors are. And if you get the story told in the proper right way, it's something really beautiful. We know that what we do is pretty special, but to have that validation from outside the local community feels very, very special. To be nominated for this award helps us know that somebody is watching what is happening. Somebody's taking notice of the kind of work that's being done, the kind of successes that we've had. For me, the highlights in the governance practices have been uh, really the role that the elders play and the youth. Uh, they have an elders advisory group and a youth advisory group. Those two advisory groups uh, are deeply engaged both as advisors but also as practitioners. And I think probably the thing that's given me most joy is seeing these young people stepping forward, taking up leadership positions. I feel so privileged to have been on this journey with this community. I feel so, so proud of where people have come from and what they've been willing to share with me and with the wider community. And I'm now committed to seeing the longevity of this project in a way where it can continue for generations. <laughs>